So Mistral just released a new AI model, the Mistral 8X7B32K. This model is actually a game changer and I'm going to tell you why. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. And if you find this video helpful, please like and share it. It means a lot to me. Now let's talk about Mixtral 8X7B model. This model is a type of mixture of experts, MOE model. In simpler terms, it's like a team of mini models, each an expert in a different area. There are eight of these experts and each has seven billion parameters. That adds up to a massive 56 billion parameters in total. To give you a perspective, that's nearly as big as Llama 270B. What's really cool about this AI model is its ability to handle a 32K context window. This means it can understand and work with much longer pieces of text than previous models, leading to more coherent and detailed outputs. Why does this matter? Because it allows it to be incredibly versatile. It's not just good at processing language, it can help with coding, create content, and much more. And it does all this with remarkable accuracy. In fact, it beats other big names like Meta Llama 2 and OpenAI GPT 3.5 in many key benchmarks like Superglue, Lambada, and Codex. It's also impressive in handling different languages and following instructions accurately. So what's behind Mixtral 8X7B's exceptional abilities? Let's look at its architecture. Like most modern AI models, it's based on the transformer architecture. However, as I mentioned before, it uses the MOE approach, meaning it breaks down tasks into smaller parts and assigns them to the most suitable mini model or expert. These experts specialize in different aspects like syntax, semantics, and style. Their outputs are then combined to give you the final result. But how does the model decide which expert to use? That's where the gating function comes in. Think of it as the model's decision maker. It weighs the importance of each expert for a particular task. The more relevant an expert is, the more it contributes to the final output. This gating function also learns and improves over time, helping the model adapt to various tasks more efficiently. Now, Mixtral 8X7B has some unique features that make it even more powerful. One is the grouped query attention, which simplifies the model's attention mechanism. This means it can manage longer sequences without slowing down or losing accuracy. Then there's the sliding window attention, which helps the model process large chunks of text effectively, capturing important information without getting overwhelmed. Another cool feature is the byte fallback BPE tokenizer. This tool helps the model understand and process a wide range of inputs, including rare words in different languages. It can switch between byte level and subword level tokenization, getting the best of both approaches. Lastly, it uses two experts at a time during inference. This ensures more reliable results, as one expert can correct or complement the other. It's especially useful for handling different types of data, like text and images. Now, let's talk about how this model stacks up against other big players like Metalama 2 and GPT 3.5. We'll look at a few important metrics that show just how powerful this model is. First up is perplexity. This is a fancy way of saying how well the model can predict what word comes next in a sentence. The lower the score, the better the model. And guess what? Mixtral 8X7B scores lower than both Llama 2 and GPT 3.5 on datasets like Wikitext 103 and 1 billion word. This means it has a better grasp of language than its competitors. Next, we have accuracy, which is all about how well the model answers questions or completes tasks. Here too, the new Maestral's model shines brighter than the rest. It shows higher accuracy in various tasks, proving it's not just a jack of all trades, but also a master of many. Then there's the BLU score, which measures how well the model translates languages. Mixtral 8X7B outdoes others in translating languages like English, French, German, and Chinese. This means it's not just fluent in many languages, but also an excellent translator. And let's not forget the F1 score. This one's about following instructions accurately. Once again, this AI model comes out on top, doing better than other models in tasks like text attack and image captioning. Now let's talk about what this model can do. First, there's natural language processing, which is where the model understands and generates human-like language. It can do a lot here, like summarizing long articles, analyzing sentiments in texts, answering questions accurately, and classifying texts into different categories. Mixtral 8X7B can also write essays, articles, stories, etc., all while maintaining high quality and creativity. Another area where this model excels is coding assistance. It helps with writing, debugging, and optimizing code. 
It can complete code snippets, generate code from descriptions, find and fix bugs, and make the code more efficient and readable. Content generation is yet another field where the model shows its prowess. It can create original and diverse content, including images, videos, audio, and text, so it can generate realistic images from descriptions, make videos from storyboards, create audio from transcripts, and even develop unique artworks and music. So as you can see, Mixtral 8X7B is not just a model with impressive stats. It's a versatile tool that can be used in many different fields. Now, how can you use this model for your projects? Let's start with the fine tuning process. This is where you adapt the model to your specific needs using your own data, and it's quite straightforward. First, get your data ready. It can be anything, text, images, videos, or audio in any language. Make sure it's clean and relevant to what you want the model to learn. Next, pre-process your data to fit the model. It's Byte Fallback BPE. Tokenizer is super flexible and can handle various inputs. You'll need to set things like whether you're using byte level or subword level tokenization. Then it's time to fine tune Mixtral 8X7B. You'll update the model based on your data and requirements. The LoRa technique makes this process efficient. Even with a model as large as Mixtral 8X7B, you'll set things like the number of experts, learning rate, and batch size. Now, let's discuss deploying. You have two main options, cloud and edge deployment. Cloud deployment involves using a service like AWS or Google Cloud. It's handy because you don't need to worry about the technical setup. Just create an account, upload your model, and set up an API for communication. This way, you can access your model from anywhere. Edge deployment means running the model on your own device, like a laptop or smartphone. It's great for privacy and doesn't rely on the internet. Install the Mixtral 8X7B runtime. Transfer your model to your device and run it using the interface provided. This option gives you direct control over your model. But as same as any other model, this one isn't without challenges. One issue is its memory requirement. It needs a fair bit of memory, which can be tricky for devices with limited resources. You can try using a smaller context window or a quantized version of the model to reduce memory needs. Or choose a deployment option that matches your available resources. Another challenge is expert swapping. This happens when the model switches between experts for different tasks, which can sometimes lead to inconsistent results. You can fix this by using a fixed set of experts, fine-tuning the model for specific tasks, or employing a verification mechanism to ensure consistency. In summary, Mixtral 8X7B is a flexible, adaptable model with lots of potential. It's powerful, but also requires some consideration in terms of memory and consistency. With the right approach, you can leverage its capabilities for a wide range of applications. And that wraps up our talk about Mixtral 8X7B32K. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.